Imagine a train that is faster than a plane flying in the air. Yes, China has done it. The world is surprised because now a super-fast train is running on the tracks that can reach a speed of 620 miles per hour. So fast that even a plane seems slow in front of it. You cannot even imagine how wonderful and comfortable the journey inside it will be. This is not just a journey, but a wonder of the world of technology that has changed the picture of the future. And the most interesting thing is that it is going to change the transport system not only for China, but the whole world. But the question is, what is so special about it? How does it reach the speed of the wind? And will it really make our dreams come true? To know the answers to all these questions and many surprising things related to this train, stay till the end of the video. But before that, do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Once upon a time when people saw Chinese trains, they thought that if they run well, that was enough. But one day, the engineers and government of China dreamt that, why not make the world's fastest train? A train that is faster than a plane flying in the air and makes people feel that the future is now running on tracks. With this thought, Work on this project began years ago. Initially, people considered it a dream. Many times it was even mocked that this is not possible. But the engineers of China did not give up. They started research on maglev technology, in which the train does not run on wheels, but with the help of magnets, floating in the air a few inches above the track. The government also invested generously on this project and decided to show the whole world that China is now not just fast, but the fastest. Every year, new tests were conducted. The speed was increased, the design was changed, and finally, they did what people did not even think of. This train is no longer just China's dream. Now it has become an example for the whole world. And this story tells us that if the will is strong, any dream can become a reality. What is the speed of this train, and how is it faster than a plane? Let us now talk about the speed of this train, which blows everyone's mind as soon as they hear it. The speed of this new maglev train of China is 620 miles per hour. Now you must be thinking that 620 miles per hour means how fast. Yes, think, such a fast speed that it seems as if it has left the time behind. Now people ask that when a plane flies so fast in the sky, then how can a train be faster than it while being on the ground? So the thing is that most airplanes fly at a speed of 850 kilometers per hour. Some special aircrafts can go up to 900 to 950 kilometers per hour, but not more than that. This train of China is touching the speed of up to 1,000 kilometers per hour. That is, about 100 to 150 kilometers per hour faster than a plane. Now, how can something moving on the ground be so fast? So, the secret behind this is its technology. This train does not have wheels. It does not even run on the ground. Actually, it is called magnetic levitation, or maglev technology. In this, very powerful magnets are installed between the train and the tracks, which repel each other. Due to this, the train rises about one to two inches above the track. And when there is no friction, then the question of stopping the speed does not arise. That is, the train keeps moving without any jerk, floating in the air. Now, there is another advantage in a train as compared to a plane. When a plane flies, the air pressure slows it down. There is more resistance in the air, and one has to bear the brunt of the weather as well. But this train moves forward while staying close to the ground, cutting through the air with a very aerodynamic design. Therefore, it neither has to fear the weather nor so much obstruction of the air. You can imagine that when you travel in it, you will not even feel that you are running at such a high speed. No jerk, no noise, as if you are moving forward comfortably while sliding on a slide. And this is the reason why this train is not only fast, but also comfortable. Today, the whole world is surprised to see this train of China. 
Because people used to think that fast travel is possible only by plane, but China has proved that one can run faster than a plane on land as well. In the coming time, when more countries will adopt this technology, then perhaps the need to travel by plane will be very less. So it is clear that this speed of 620 miles per hour is not an ordinary thing. To understand this, just think this much. Where your car runs at a speed of 100 to 120 kilometers per hour, this train runs 10 times faster than that. And despite such a speed, it gives such a smooth journey that it does not seem that you are running on tracks. This is the wonder of China, which has shown the world that the future can now fly on the ground as well. Magic of Technology What is Maglev System? Let us now talk about the magical technology that made this train the fastest in the world. You may have heard of it, Maglev System, that is, magnetic levitation. The name sounds a little heavy, but its concept is very simple. Actually, this train does not have wheels. Yes, you read it right. There are no wheels in it. The reason for this is that most of the speed is interrupted by the friction between the wheels and the tracks. Now, when the train will not rub on the track, it will run so fast that it can beat the wind. Maglev means lifting things up with the help of magnets. In this train, very powerful magnets have been installed on the tracks and below it. As soon as the power is turned on, both the magnets push each other. The train rises a few inches above the track, and it looks as if it is floating in the air. Then the second set of magnets pulls it and moves it forward. That is, no friction, no more obstruction, only speed and smooth journey. The faster the train moves, the more stable and comfortable it feels. This technology not only makes the train super fast, but is also good for the environment because it neither emits smoke nor makes much noise. This is the real magic of Maglev. Now let's take a trip inside this train. Even after running at such a high speed, sitting inside it feels like you are sitting in a room of an expensive hotel. The design inside is so luxurious and modern that at first glance you will not believe that you are in a train. Wide corridors, large windows from which you will be surprised to see the view outside. The glass of the windows is such that even at high speed, everything outside is clearly visible, and there is no flickering. Talking about the seats, they are as comfortable as the business class of a flight. Large cushions, adjustable headrests, and plenty of space for the legs. Even the seats have charging points, screens, and control panels so that you can control lighting, music, or temperature from your seat itself. The experience of the passengers is so smooth that most people forget that they are running at a speed of 1,000 kilometers per hour. There is no jerk, no noise. Just look out of the window and feel how the world is being left behind. Many people say that this journey feels like a spa, relaxing and comfortable. And the best part is that every small and big thing has been taken care of inside the train. Great cafes for eating and drinking, modern facilities in washrooms and so much attention to cleanliness everywhere that you will feel as if you are traveling in a five-star hotel. What were the challenges? It was not so easy to make it. Now, making such a fast train is not a child's play. As easy as it sounds, that the train reached a speed of 620 miles per hour. It was equally difficult to make it true. While working on this project, Chinese engineers and scientists had to face such difficulties that many times it seemed that this dream may never be fulfilled. But their courage and mind found a solution to every problem. The first and the biggest challenge was to control such a high speed. It was not easy to keep the train balanced at a speed of 1,000 kilometers per hour and to travel without any jolt or accident. The faster the train moved, the more vibration was generated, and this created a situation of derailment. 
For this, the engineers did different types of design tests for months. The shape of the train was made aerodynamic so that the air pressure would be reduced and the balance would be maintained. The second big problem was to make super powerful magnets. To lift such a heavy and fast train above the track and keep it stable in the air, very powerful magnets were needed. The magnets that were installed initially would heat up at high speed and fail. Many times the entire testing would fail. Then he researched on new technology superconducting magnets, which were more powerful and did not heat up. The third challenge was to make the track perfect. No matter how perfect the train is, if there is even a slight flaw in the track, it can cause an accident at high speed. Therefore, the entire track was checked at the micro level. Every part was made absolutely straight and strong. Many times, the entire track had to be laid again after the work had started. Another big problem was air pressure. At such a high speed, the air pressure becomes so high that people sitting inside the train may feel that their ears are getting blocked or they are having trouble breathing. To overcome this, the design of the train and the air pressure inside was made such that the passengers do not face any problem. Apart from this, it was not easy to win the trust of the government on such an expensive and new technology. Billions of dollars were spent on this project, and the tests failed many times. But the scientists did not give up. They learned from their mistakes every time, and corrected them, and tried again. The road was long and difficult, but it was possible only because of the hard work of the engineers continuous improvement in technology and full support of the Chinese government. Today, when people travel in this train and feel that they are running faster than the wind, they do not even imagine how much hard work is hidden behind it. This is the wonder of human courage, making the impossible possible. Its impact in the world, a challenge for other countries? Now just think, when China showed the world that trains can also run faster than planes, what would have happened to the other countries? It is clear, brother, everyone lost their sleep. Because now China has not only proved its technology, but also put a big challenge in front of other countries. Now everyone is thinking that if we don't make such trains, we will be left behind. First, let's talk about Japan. Japan has always been ahead in making fast trains. The world's first bullet train was also run by Japan. For a long time, Japan's Shinkansen was considered one of the world's fastest and most reliable trains. But now, when China surpassed its speed, the pressure on Japanese engineers increased. Now, work is going on rapidly on its new train based on maglev whose speed will also cross 600 kilometers per hour. Japan is trying to bring better technology than China so that its old status remains. Talking about America, the rail network there is not so fast and advanced, but now people there have also started saying that if we also want to give people a better journey and stay in the race of the world, then we will also have to adopt high-speed train system. Work has started on high-speed rail projects to connect many cities in America. There, some projects are also being planned in Texas and California with help from China. The situation in Europe is a little better. Countries like France, Germany, Italy already have high-speed trains like TGV and ICE. But now there is a discussion going on there that we should also invest in new technologies like maglev so that we do not lag behind China. Many European companies are doing research on this technology so that they can also launch such trains in the future. Actually, China has proved that the future belongs to high-speed trains. And the reason for this is not just speed. These trains are eco-friendly, cheaper than planes, and are also the best way to connect cities. This is the reason why the whole world has become serious about it. Now it has become a kind of competition. Who will make the fastest train? Who will create the best network?
and the people of which country will be the first to enjoy such high-tech trains in their cities? China has won the race, but other countries also do not want to be left behind. In the coming times, this competition will become even more intense, and maybe someday someone will come who will beat China in its own speed. This is the fun of technology. One country does something new and motivates others to move ahead. Now it remains to be seen who will take the next step. Now the question arises whether this will really become the mode of travel of the future. Well, this is what it seems. At the speed at which the world is moving ahead, and people want fast, comfortable, and cheap travel, this maglev train has emerged as a strong option. Earlier people considered airplanes to be the fastest, but when people start getting faster and equally comfortable travel on the ground itself, why shouldn't people choose it? In the coming time, when these trains will become cheaper and spread to more countries, it is possible that people will prefer them to avoid the hassle of long lines and checking at the airport. After China, work is also being done on this in Japan, America, Europe, and Middle East. It is very possible that in the next 10 to 15 years, people of many countries will also feel like flying by sitting in such trains. Now let's talk about the environment. With such a high-speed train, people wonder if it is a threat to the Earth. But the truth is that this train is many times better than an airplane. Because it does not burn any fuel, it only uses electricity, and that too in many places from green energy. Meaning, it does not emit smoke or poisonous gases. Yes, it does cost money and involves technical difficulties in making it. But once it starts, it is no less than a boon for the environment. It is clean and sustainable as compared to planes and diesel trains that emit carbon dioxide in the air. Now the question also arises that how was the experience of those who traveled in this train for the first time? So, most people say that it seems like a dream. As soon as the train picks up speed, the view outside runs like lightning, and the people sitting inside just keep looking in amazement. The seats are so comfortable that people wonder whether it is a train or a five-star hotel. Yes, some people who travel for the first time feel a little nervous. Sitting at such a high speed, they feel that something might go wrong. But as the train keeps moving and everything seems smooth, the fear also ends. Most people say that they have never experienced such a journey before. So it is clear that this maglev train of China is an example. In the coming years, it can not only become the best way of traveling, but will also be a relief for the environment. People who see it say that this is not an ordinary journey, but the journey of the future. If you also like such interesting and informative things, then subscribe to our channel now, so that more such stories reach you first.